Maine's emergency dispatch centers have always had a hard time finding qualified staffers, but one in Augusta says things have gotten worse since the pandemic started. Good evening, I'm Pat Callahan. And I'm Cindy Williams. Many dispatchers are working overtime and sometimes law enforcement personnel are filling in to help. News Center Maine's Rosalind Flaherty joins us now with more on this, Ross. Cindy and Pat, the director of the Regional Communications Center in Augusta is calling this a crisis and says the vaccine mandate for healthcare workers is also adding to the stress, stress of being short staffed. 911, what is the address to the emergency? At the Regional Communications Center in Augusta. 53 North, just prior to the spur. Uh, there's two large pieces of metal in the left lane. Dispatchers are feeling burned out. A lot of my staff here, they're working 60, 70 hours a week. And the center is short staffed, something the director says is becoming a crisis. Especially since COVID hit, it's definitely harder to get applications in. Nobody wants to work. Nobody wants to work in public safety. Everybody struggles with public safety across the board. Brody Hinckley is the director of Maine Emergency Communications with centers in Augusta, Bangor, and Holton. He says the Augusta Center is short 10 people. Dispatchers are working overtime and state police troopers and people from the state fire marshal's office are helping to fill gaps. We usually have uh, one uh, shift during the day and one evening that a trooper will work. He says emergency medical dispatchers also fall under Governor Janet Mills's vaccine mandate and says he is afraid more will leave because of it. If they lose any more because of this, it's there could be some some issues there. No one calls us to say, hey, hope you're having a great day. Everyone's calling us because it's their worst day. Michael Labby is the operations um, manager we'll, we'll, at the we'll Augusta Center. Today. He says being a dispatcher is a tough job, something he says people who apply don't think about, which he says is another issue when it comes to hiring. A lot of people don't understand exactly what happens in here till they come in and sit down and see what's happening. Both assure every 911 call will get answered. They just hope more people will join the team. When somebody calls 911, they're, they're in good hands. We're all pulling together and working together, like I said, as a team to get through where we are right now. Now, the director says they are doing interviews on a weekly basis and says if you are interested, you should call to see if you can shadow to see what the job is all about. We also spoke to the director of the Cumberland County Regional Communications Center. She says they are short four people and have had zero applicants. She also says they have 11 dispatchers who are not vaccinated and says they could potentially lose all 11 because of the mandate. Cindy, so, This is a problem mm -hmm. that could get worse. Uh, Thank you, Rosalind.